morning welcome it is blowing a gale outside it's absolutely hammered down the old inserted peacock wagglers loaded ones like these these are all drakes and um, drakes for me are the number one float and um, they're great uh, they're quite sensitive and all the rest of it but in some situations like this pool the other week they're just not sensitive enough especially on short range on light gear just go through a few of the floats that i usually i mean inserted ones are very sensitive and all the rest of it two types of uh, tips on the inserts uh on the makings like these on the peacock peacock wagglers uh they'll have a cane tip on them these are as sensitive as they get on the drakes depending on you know i mean you get really long uh tips on some of them like those ones um but they're still peacock tipped you do get some of the later ones like these which are you know like the the smaller tip ones which are cane tip but they're quite rough and ready to the drake ones uh, sensitivity will be the standard peacock uh, wagglers like those majority of these all tend to tend to be cane tipped uh, much smaller peacock bodies on them uh, but the making ones are similar to those or the more refined ones and going in the right direction with those now these are brilliant these are going in the correct direction but again we can go even finer than that so the metamorphosis from what i want to what i need is getting there so we go then from the peacock then to the bolsters now the bolsters uh, are much heavier uh the the sort of like less sort of like buoyant as they were and cane tips again and usually gloss finish so they slide under the water really well and we're going in that right direction like freebies that you used to get from the angling times or the angler's mail years ago then we're going down to the good old canal greys now this was the bread and butter that they were using on all the, the bridgewater canal for me back in the day and it's a slim tapered balsa bodied float um spliced usually with cane further up some of them or plastic or whatever and these are the, the classic canal greys um now we're talking business ultra sensitive can you know the these are perfect for the canals and the venue i'm going on and i'm going like i've got two choices now now there's a there's a hybrid of the canal gray which is even more sensitive these chuck really well correct weights on them got a nice little sturdy body if you get a bit of a little toe on the canal um the bang on superb We'll get down to it. Is the dick leg number one or number two? I think it's a number two. This is it a number one? Um, anyway, it's a dicky leg, the original ones, and this is so simple, it's unbelievable. So, the dick leg body is it's exactly the same, it's, it's like what I've shown you earlier which is you, you, you know like your peacock inserted wagglers and all the rest of it like this, this is this making here but it's got the cocktail stick thing going going on here or plastic in this case it might be plastic with dicky clank and uh ultra sensitive but with a, a peacock body well let's take away that peak but peacock body now Go for the like, canal grey style body but a little bit fatter with the same tops and we have the darts which on an evolution from the canal grey you can load these up much much heavier and um the darts super now this one's a cane tip one in this one here these ones are modern plastics and this is what we're looking for 
and this is what we'll be using today so we'll show you how to set up the darts and to, so it's a multi-task piece of kit so with these darts these are really for, for, for range you can see you know what I mean but with the, the wind as it is today and the way it's very unstable it's going to be unstable so now the last time I fished the water um, Mark who's I fish with had 148 fish and he was I would imagine he was fishing so like a canal grey like that and I, I turned up and I was lazy as hell and it was like yeah yeah just just slam as a so I was one of them on and I was doing all right but I was lazy as hell and I couldn't hardly see any you know like the bites or anything you know because it's a big chunky and there was shy biting fish so when you're talking shy biting fish a mark had 145 fish and I, I had some like I'd say less than that I had some like 100 fish or something and it was like apparent that uh a Mark's a fucking much better angler than me, and B, um, Gary, you're the lazy git, get off your arse. So, to, going back today, it's not the best conditions, it is, like I say, it's blowing a gale, and we'll, we'll test it, see how it goes, and uh, we'll go fishing, and hopefully we'll catch some silverfish. We'll see how many fish we can catch. I'll see you a lot later. Oh my God. Welcome, let's get this microphone in place. Oops, let's get it up here. Oh god, wobbly wobbly wobbly. Welcome. Hoping it's recording. I have no idea if it is recording. Oh, did I press the right button? Who knows? I better check. Testing, testing one. Bloody hell, I've got to walk all the way back there now. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, bloody three. Mm. Well, you've joined me. You've joined me on a very windy day in March. A few days before the end of the fishing close season, but the rivers are flooded. So, if we get the microphones here. So all I decided to do is come out, just have a go on the waggler. We're going to do what I said, we're going to put, see what we can get away with in this sort of wind. We'll try and optimise what float I can set up on here. Mark it over there. Fluffy about there. Chuck a few maggots out every now and then. And we'll see if we can get some silverfish. Um, have I got my counter with me? Yeah, I've got a little fish counter with me today. We're going to count the fish up, see how many we get. And um, we'll get on with it. I brought a little 11 foot waggler rod. Nothing special, little die owl one. And um, already set up from one of my others set up. Pop a float on it. We'll get on with it. I'm just gonna see what, what I can uh get on here. Well chances are I'll try and set up a dart and we'll plummet it up accurately today because uh, I've been getting a bit lazy on that. So I'll set a dart up most probably. Test these two floats out. I'll go for the lightweight one first to see how that shots up with what I've got. A little float adapter, Drennan one, which are, are superb. Let's just see how that shots up first. Got a lovely cast on that. But that float straight under. So we'll go a little bit heavier than that. Try that one. That's perfect. We can get that shotted down, dotted down with a, a couple of uh, number eights or something. But what we've got to do now is plumb it up. Flat pull on it. We'll have a look around in the area that I, I fancy. I'll make life easier in this wind and see what the bottom's like. Yeah, 
straight on there. Get this accurately plumbed up this time. Last time was here, didn't I? I'll just move that down three inches. I'm hoping that'll stay down. It's just showing now, just popping up, just popping up, just popping up. A couple of number eight stops. Roughly around about six inches away from there. And I'll put this one just about there. Perfect. So what we've got is two number eights. Two number eights here. Uh, number four there. A little bulk about halfway and the bulk under the flow. So what we're after is, is the drop coming down and then that last final couple of feet just a nice fluttery sort of like natural sort of look now we'll see how this hook goes it's nickel up so it might be all right a little bit of ground bait out just a little bit the mark is out there i know what it is it's just roughly about there to that Bloody awful, what the hell am I doing out in this weather? It's not looking very good at the moment. That was a bite. That was a bite. Definitely a bite. A couple of maggots in. Fuck off.
Belgian. Looking good. It's looking terrible. Right. Better now, but now I've shot at it. Feels like the float's more stable. Let's see if it registers bikes better. There's a bit, I've had a few smashed maggots. It's hard to see bikes. Up in now, I've shot this much more sensitively. I only buy added another number eight. Yeah, there we go. I spotted that, because they're only gudgeon you see. And they barely moved the float. Wow, it's registered much better. Not there. They are not there. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ridiculous, got a fish all the way out there just to get good job. Good job. wonders of fishing in the wind. You wonder why. Good John! Let's go get me a maggot. Maggot! Good John! Come on, good gen. Bloody hell, it's cold. Oh, that was a bite. Good gen bite. Oh, lost it. Felt very good, you know. Look at John. I think that's what the name of this film is going to be today. Look at John. Oh, my toes are cold. Look at John! Look at 
good John like ground bait. Look at John Buckles de Mackey. Look at John Stoll de Mackey. Tiny roach, tiny roach. It's freezing. It's cold. It's very cold. So it's mucking around. Ooh, I could tell there was one on that. Good job, good job. What is this rocking us now? Fight, tiny. It's an absolutely minuscule bite. Which did it? That's a nice roach as well. A bit of a twitch help that one on. Couldn't help itself on that twitch. It's a beautiful rope. Lovely, nice rope. Better click that one in. They don't seem really confident close in, whereas further out, they are, now, I actually, it sounds silly, but I actually find that distance there a little bit better for me for, for throwing bait onto the catapulting. So, seems like a long way out to concentrate, but as long as I, I get it in the ballpark area, I think you've got half a chance. Now, the water's cold and you can see there's a, an outflow of air pump water coming in from over there from all the water rain that we've had and it's flowing out there and the water's cold it's ice cold the water that's gone in and you can tell when the fish you know they're very pale the fish that I'm catching and um, they're very cold as well which means they're a little bit lethargic and the bites are sort of telltale as well because the bites aren't positive bites um, they're not flying on the bait, they're, they're very tentative. Um, I'm pretty certain if it was a little bit warmer, 
and all this rain having coming in. We would have had a good day today. It's like scratching. Farty razor blades and a load of gudgeon. I'm, I'm freezing cold. The water's ice cold. There's water pushing me through. Get a chance I'll record it. Oh. The reality is, a lot of people will put out these perfectly manicured, absolutely shit hot days fishing. Put out by the absolutely fucking shit hot. The reality is, had those floats so sensitive, it's unbelievable. Point oh eight line, size 20 nickel hook, a single maggot, and it was still just mouthing the maggot. It was frigging hard work. Anyway, I'm gonna get, gonna get back home. I'm gonna go see the wife. I'm gonna have tea with the wife, big, big fat steak. I might even go get myself a bottle of whiskey on the way home because I am freezing bleeding cold. Anyway, hope you enjoy the films. It's reality. It's winter, I'm freezing cold. I'm gonna get off home and I'll see you a lot later. Have fun and keep warm. <laughs>